Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 21, part 3 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we basically got our railway line set up in Italy, as our trains are now delivering passengers and freight across the entirety of the map. And in this episode, we're going to continue off our operations as we head towards Brazil to get their railways up and running, as we got to deliver some food to Sao Paulo. Now, as you can see, the terrain here is very much different to that of Italy. One thing's for sure, this is not going to be easy to climb. So, we'll have to basically think of a way to do it. And, at the same time, I might as well get something started down here at the, at the base. Since there's going to be a lot of passenger traffic, I might as well get a station set up here at Santos. We'll call this Centos Cent Central Station. And then we'll get started on modifying the platforms a bit. And, compared to those to Italy, we're basically using the original track, as well as the original station buildings. Though, bear in mind, the station buildings have actually been given a reskin, kind of like what happened in the Yukon map. Where our station building now has a bit of a yellow-ish tint. Pretty nice. And, with, in this Aeneas tab, I'm gonna basically add something quite interesting here in these stations. Well, basically, these specialized roofs can be basically be placed on platforms, and depending on how far they are from each other, will basically make into a nice station canopy. So, most of the big stations, as well as some terminal stations, will feature this unique ability. We'll also start expanding the track outwards. And connecting to the main line here. Because this is how I normally build my terminal stations in my free mode games of Transport Fever 2. I basically do it like this. That is, if I could easily fix some of these problems on the map. Also, to basically fix this as well, to make it a little more smoother. course, I want to make this a very nice looking station. So in the center, there's going to be a small passenger depot. And another uh, street connection there. Connect there, and connect there. Doesn't look pretty, but at least it looks the part. Now, people won't basically get out of their horse-drawn buggies to basically... Well, catch a train. Also, while we're out here, might as well replace some of these bridges that we're going to build from wood to stone, as we're going to reserve the wooden bridges for the road. Well, for the railway. Transport. Ooh, collision. Hmm. That's not going to look good. How come it works fine with this, but not with stone? There we go. Much better. Construction not possible. Alright. Change 
page to that. Let me connect here. And then connect this. Perfect. Now people will have an easy access to reach the station for their trip into the mountains. Now, here's the thing I'm worried about. Right here at Raz de Sierra, there's a large, hilly terrain up ahead, which doesn't look very suitable for building track. However, I think I might be able to basically alleviate that by carefully laying my track upwards. Point nine thousand credits. I don't really like the look of this, but I think I can basically smooth it over a little. But jeez, look at that. Speaking of which, there's nothing different between these two tracks other than the price. Except, this one is a lot more expensive, but I don't think I need to even use it. Not that I know of. We're gonna get rid of this, place this. Place that this, and now we can start our climb up. I'm gonna replace this with an embankment. The grades that we saw back in, back in Alaska are gonna be a lot different compared to this. At least we're not building up on this side. That would just basically be impossible. As while there is plenty of flat land, there's just a large hilly incline that I don't think our tracks will be able to use. Looks like we might have to basically use loops. So, I'm basically going to cut this video right here, so we'll be right back as soon as I complete this section of track up to Sao Paulo. So I'll see you all in just a quick moment. And we're back. So, in the time I was busy building this track, our mission of supplying Naples with food has already been completed. But now we can get started on expanding the rest of the line. As you can see, Sao Paulo is up ahead, but Sao Cantano do Sul is demanding a new service to connect to the other parts of the island. Well, parts of the country. So, let's provide them with one. Let's place down a 320 meter one track station. Place that there. Start laying down these tracks. Actually, let's basically change this up a bit. Let's basically get rid of these stone platforms and just add these. These wooden platforms that we actually had in the Yukon mission. And I think in the last mission? I'm not so sure.
can we'll have some room to place down these buildings. Well, these pedestrian tracks. <coughs> Excuse me again. Seems like something went down my throat the wrong way. Oh, right, I forgot about those, uh, platform tracks. There we go. They don't look good, but at least they can basically put everything... Well, so my passengers can easily cross over to the other tracks. Let's see. All right. Do that, and then reconnect these roads. Oh. Also, I gotta put down a canopy for my passengers so they don't get drenched in the rain. Make it a 40 mile an hour entry speed into the station. Fortunately, there's a town not too far from whom that requires food, and there's a cattle ranch. That could provide us some, some good extra revenue. Mile an hour turn. And then simply just curve to the right. Ay, 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 ay. Alright, get some of that track finished. This into land. And then just use this, and then just modify the ground. So we're gonna at least look pretty and look like it's been there the entirety of the time. And then just simply expand the trackage. We'll connect it to this piece and get rid of this bridge. Alright. So now, Sal now Santo is, is now officially connected to the, to the interior of Brazil and the high mountain peaks. But also, I want to make sure there's a small station here for my passengers traveling on the branch line to Mogi. Well, Mogi das Curates. We'll put out 160 because it's not a large town. And at the same time, I should also basically add another track to it. And basically use a cargo platform. While I convert this one into a passenger platform. Alright. Actually, I think I can actually put in one more track here. So trains coming from Santos can easily climb up to the top of that. Put 
down this canopy. Because of the traffic on the line, <coughs> it should be double track. Well, in sections, not in the entirety. Because again, this is going to be a low income branch line. I don't think the city is going to grow that much unless we supply it with food. Then just add this. Perfect. <clears throat> Jeez. D didn't think I would have a, such a serious cough. Anyway. <clears throat> so. What about a 45 mile an hour switch right there? And another one over here. And then connect the two. We'll also do the same one here into the interior of the branch and then do that and then just simply edit the ground to make it look a little more nicer. Looks like everything looks fine right now, but then we gotta worry about building the station at San Paulo, which I believe we'll do in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And, of course, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!